so hello guys welcome back so in this video session we will create a ec2 instance with the aws free tier account if you haven't created a aws free tier account then you can go and watch the video first and you can create a one free tier account step by step now we are going to set up a ec2 instance this is a one cloud virtual machines we are going to create for our learning purpose and this will be the Linux instance. So let's see this step by step and then we can create the EC2 instance. And after that, how to access the EC2 instance, I will also explain in this video session. So to create an EC2 instance, I am going to switch to this AWS account. You just log into the, your credentials to the AWS account. And after that, you can go to the EC2 instance dashboard. This is the EC2 instance dashboard is there and you will get the resource information so instance whatever runnings it will give the number so as of now zero instance are running but i have created the two instances are there so i can show you the instances so like that we know the instance these are the vm machines one i made as a jenkins machine second i made as a tomcat server machine as of now these are stops now we will create a one more EC2 instance on the AWS account. So for that, you are on the EC2 instance dashboard and here you can see the launch instance is there. So you can select the launch instance from here and either you can go from there. Under the instance, you can go to the instances settings and from there also you can launch the new instance. So I will go to this and then I'm going to launch the instance from here. So you can click on this one After that, you can see the EC2 instance and launch an instance. You are on the tab and this is the EC2 instance tab is there. So now you need to provide the VM machine name. Suppose I am going to provide the demo VM. Okay. And this is the name of the virtual machines and that machines we will create for the Jenkins because we are going to set up the Jenkins on this VM machine. Use this tag to identify the VM machine. Now just scroll down, no? application and the OS images. In this step, you need to select the operating system image. So by default, we are going to select the Amazon machine image. So it's called the AMI. So AMI image we need to select because this Amazon Linux machine is the free tire eligible. If you are going to select the any other machines, it will be the chargeable. But for the learning purpose, we are going to select the Amazon Linux AWS machine. This is the AMI machine. And you can see the Amazon Linux 2 AMI HVM kernel 5.10 SSD volume type. So you can select this version and here you make sure this is a free tire eligible. If you click on this one, it will be give you the more operating system images and this is also the free tire image so you can select any one of them now the description you can verify the Amazon Linux 2 kernel machine okay and of the architecture so VM machine having the two type of the architecture one is the 64 bit x 86 and 64 bit ARM so as of now we are, we are going to select the 86 version this is a 64 bit machine we are going to create and this is AMI ID. This is provided by the Amazon. So now in this step, the instance type we will select. So as of now, the instance type will be the t2.micro. So you can select this one and this is eligible for the free tire account. So you can see the tag is there, free tire eligible tag is there. Now this is a family is the t2 and a CPU, one CPU and one GB memory for enough for to run the Jenkins server for us. And you can see on demand Linux pricing will be per hour. But as of now, this is the free tire eligibility. Now you can see the one more free tire eligible account is there. And this is also micro. T1 micro is the free tire eligible. So we will select the T2 micro option is there. Now. Coming to the key pair step, under this key pair step, we need to create some key so that we can communicate with this machine.
through the SSH or the PuTTY or any terminal. So for that we want to create the key. So you can create the key. I have already created the two keys are there, but I will show you how to create the new one. So you can create the create a new key pair. So you just click on that, and after that you can provide the key pair name. So as of now I am going to provide the demo key. So this is the demo key and a key pair type you should select the RSA token and private key file format you can keep it dot pem this is the private key format and then you simply click on the create key pair now you can see on your desktop windows desktop this demo key dot pem is downloaded you just save this file as a one location over the folders for the future reference this is very important so you need to select and save it at a safe locations now once you have created a key pair value it will be select the demo key now in the network settings you can leave as it is subnet you can leave as it is auto assign public ip you can leave as it is now the firewall firewall is a security group we need to create because you can see here the SSH traffic will run on the IP4 version, okay, and we will provide the the port number so that we can run the Jenkins server or the Tomkin server or the database server, so we can access through one port number. So for that we need to provide the one port number. Now, how to set up this one? So security group is there. So what we will do? Under the network settings, we are going to click on the edit button. In the edit button, VPC you can leave as it is, subnet you can leave as it is. Now, security group name. So, what we are going to say demo SEC group. Okay, so this is the security group name we are going to provide, and the same we will provide here in the description. Now, under you can see the SSH connection is the TCP protocol and the port range is 22. So this is the by default and the source type is anywhere. Okay. And the, the source is the this one and description it's leaving the blank. So this is the default conditions. Now we want to add our custom security group. So for that you can click on the add security group rule. Now the custom TCP, this is a TCP protocol and the port range you can select 8080 because we are going to access the Jenkins at the 8080 port number or where you want to access the applications you can provide the port number here. Source type will be the custom, okay, you can select the source type is the custom and the source. So you can select this one. 0, .0, .0, .0, slash 0 this shows the IP version 4 address so we want the IP version 4 address only and if you are going to select this one so it will show the IP version 6 so as of now we will select the IP version 4 description you can select choose as it is okay now so you have selected the one security group 2 okay and the port number is 8080 and this is the one more security group. So we have the two security group under this inbound security rules. So these are also called the inbound security rules. We can also change later once we have created the instance machine. I will show you how to do that. Now scroll down, configure storage. So 8GB is enough for us to run the Jenkins server. So 8GB storage is enough. Now next advanced details so you can leave as it is these advanced details no need to change anything now this is the summary sections so under the summary sections number of instance you can provide like how many instance you want to create so you can create one two three or four like that you can create the number of instance in the one shot the software image is the ami and this is a virtual server type so t2.micro we virtual server type is there and these are the security group so new security group is added so this is a free time you make sure this is a free time uh, we want to launch this vm machine so for that i am going to click on this launch instance 
now it's launching the instance it's creating the security group it will check the all the details now you can see the success message is there so here the successfully initiated launch of the instance so this is your instance number and when you click on that one it will show that your instance is there so now this instance in the pending status so it will take some time to start okay two three minutes it will take or the hardly five seconds it will take to uh, make it a running position this instance now you can see it's running now your instance is running so you can click this instance and it will navigate to this window and under this you no need to see anything so you can leave as it is okay now this is your instance which is in the running state here is the your vm machine name this is the instance id and this is the state and this is the instance type and under uh this is public ip version 4 this is there and this is the key name so demo key we are going to use now you want to check the details for this instance so for that you can click on this check box under that you can see the detail section security section networking section storage status check monitoring and the tags are there so now the, we will go to the detail section so under the details under the detail it will provide the instance summary so instance id is there and ip version 6 is not there this is the public ip version 4 this address we will use to connect with this machine and the, when it is in the running state and this is the private address to connect with this linux amazon machines i am going to use the mobi xtem this is the ssh terminal machine and you can see you can install this software and i have provided the detail step in the video number 2 and i will provide the link so once you have installed the mobi xtem successfully on your machines then how you can connect with the linux machine so first you can go to the as sessions so you can click on the sessions and under that you have the ssh so you can start the ssh sessions here the remote host so here you can provide this ec2 instance public ip version 4 address so this is the public ip version 4 address you copy this address and you can provide this address here now this specifies the user so initially it will take the ec2 hyphen user this is the initial user so you can provide the ec2 hyphen user go to the advanced ssh settings and there are execute command ssh browse type and use the private key so you remember we have created one demo key so i'm going to select this private key and and that you can import from your desktop so just now we created the demo key so i'm going to import this demo key under this sessions and just say okay okay so now we are log in to this linux machine okay so the first sudo su minus so we are at the root user and now you can see clear now ln we are at the you can see the dot bash logout dot bash profile is there so dot ssh folder is also there so you can see dot ssh folder is there under this linux machine okay so like that we can create the ec2 instance and we can connect with the ec2 instance